everyone, welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am your host as always, Rasheed White. So, all right, one of the biggest news stories, uh, I guess, of the Brooklyn Nets right now is this Bruce Brown story over here. And, uh, I mean, there's some interesting things I actually see here. Now, Bruce Brown actually says that the Brooklyn Nets actually wanted him back, but could Sean Marks and Joe been, been lying to him? But let's listen into what Bruce Brown actually has to say real quick. And then uh, there were some interesting comments over here that I actually read that disturbed me about Bruce Brown and hopefully and, 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 and Kyrie. But let's get to this first, though. <laughs> All right, so basically, let's get into let's get into the rest of this article here, and it was saying that unsurprisingly, Nets fans were quick to point out to Twitter that he could have been referencing to owner Joe Sy and poss a possible reluctance to spend the extra cash on the twenty five year old services. Uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of blame to go around here, so. This is the part over here. It says, indeed, there were rumors that KD and Brown didn't get along uh, during their time in Brooklyn and had a memorable blow up in the Western Conference semis between the Nuggets and the Suns. Brown also became the franchise's biggest COVID vaccine advocate, appearing in commercials sponsored by uh, f vaccine makers Pfizer and was it BioNTech? And the Nets, while Urban famously refused to take the shot, I can't afford to miss games. Well, I mean, right there, that shows you how weak Bruce Brown is right there, man. You know, by actually really kind of doing that, man. Um, anything, of course, that could be true, even the possibility, possibility that Brown's version of, of events itself skewed. Though I'm not sure that would accomplish here, but considering that Brooklyn did not even, not even offer a contract, and that spending has has never been a considerable obstacle in the side era. Yeah, I think, I mean, what Bruce Brown was actually saying was that they, when he went to Denver, they, he didn't have a position. I guess he couldn't, you know, he was, wasn't a great shooter, or Nash didn't actually use him that, that way, but he didn't have good ball handling skills, but, you know, he was, they didn't really have a position for him, and then Mike Malone would say, hey, just come over here, I, we can make a position for you. So I think this is a failure on Steve Nash's part. Uh, if this is true about the, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised about the Pfizer thing and and the, 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 the vaccines. Uh, of course, Pfizer and these companies actually paid a lot of these influencers and basketball players to actually uh, push that vaccine right there. So, uh, and I don't know, man. It's 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 a uh, it. it <sighs> He's not like you know. He's not Kyrie. He doesn't have Kyrie Irving money. He doesn't have Kevin Durant money. Um, but <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, overall, Brown has nothing, nothing but love for his former employers, front office. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen. You don't want to trash, you know, like any kind of. You don't want to trash the organization. I guess like if you go on a job interview. So, then you don't want to trash a former employer and actually say, oh, they were horrible and, and this company, you know, you don't want to do all that. So I just think that Bruce Brown right there is actually just being nice. Um, but yeah, this is a huge mistake on Steve Nash's part, not properly utilizing him. And they were saying, I think Kevin Durant was actually saying that, hey, we need to actually get bigger. You want to get some more. 
size, but then you go and get Royce O'Neal. You had Jeff Green. I mean, the guys that you guys let go, Sean Marks let go, you know, actually in the NBA Finals in terms of Jeff Green and um, Bruce Brown right there. So it just shows you a failure on the organization, a failure on Sean Marks, a failure on Joe Sy. And listen, this guy, was he? He's, he's a, a billionaire, right? Joe Sy is a billionaire, right? So what's, and I get it. You don't want to just like uh, spend unnecessary unnecessary money and then have to go into the, the, the repeater tax. But this is what it actually takes to actually win a championship over here, man. You need guys that can actually produce. Yeah, you need guys like Bruce Brown, who isn't scared of the moment. He's like, the game is not tight, and he's not nervous, and not looking over his shoulder, uh, whether seeing whether he makes a mistake, and you know, so that I mean, confidence is actually a, a, a real thing right there. So I, I mean, this is a failure on on uh, the front office. I think they lied to Bruce Brown. There's a lot of a lot of people in there, you know, listening to Kevin Durant. I, I lost a lot of respect for him. I'm watching him in the Phoenix Suns. Since I had him as a top two player. But now looking at him right now, I'm like, nah. Nah, I mean, because when you throw a physical defender at him, yeah, he gets thrown off. He gets really kind of thrown off. So I, I lost. I have Kevin Durant now at number nine. And I'm starting to really question him and Kyrie Irving's overall basketball IQ. You know, for a lot of this, the decisions that they actually really wanted, to, you know, players that they wanted that what that didn't really fit. Um, I'm really kind of questioning Kevin Durant's basketball. Him going to the Phoenix Suns when he didn't really have any type of, uh, you know, like real help over there. No bench. You know, I told you from the very beginning that team was not winning the championship, and they should have got bounced in the first round. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's you know. I'm, <laughs> I, I would say there's a lot of people that actually had their, their hands in Bruce Brown actually leaving. All right, so I'll uh, wrap this video up. Like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.